And by the way, God can judge the church through the world. People say all kinds of silly things. Oh, why should we trust a secular documentary? Because I'm not saying you should assume that any documentary, whether it's speaking against or for the church, is right or wrong. Don't assume anything. The simple man believes every word, but a prudent man looks well to his ways. Don't assume anything. If you want to believe something, back it with evidence. But what I'm saying is, the fact is that God can judge the church through the world. Did God not use Babylon, a pagan nation full of idolaters and immoral people, to judge Israel? Read the book of Jeremiah. We see all kinds of rubbish. God can use the world to judge the church. And it's actually a part of the judgment. That your wickedness is so exceedingly great that I'm going to use wicked people to judge you. It's like if a parent and your, your parent and your child is misbehaving and you go to find a school bully who gets in trouble all the time and use him to discipline your child. That's what God does sometimes. He'll use the wicked to punish the righteous. So all those people that are coming out to say, oh, we shouldn't trust a secular news channel. Um, not necessarily because it could be, I'm not saying it is. I'm saying it could be that God is using the sinners and these secular channels to expose the church, just like with Babylon. He used Babylon to judge the southern kingdom. And he used Assyria to judge the northern kingdom. These are two pagan nations that God is using to judge his holy people. Now, it doesn't mean that God is fond of these people either. God wasn't a fan of Babylon. He judged them too. After he, now use, after he uses you to punish his church, and I'll punish you because you're also evil too. How dare you touch my anointed? Because I'm also going to punish you. So many of these secular news channels are wicked. Yes, they do fight the church. Yes, yes, you know, channels like CNN. Times will come where CNN was also going to start, according to prophecy, he's going to start exposing many things in the church. It's not as if CNN is doing it because they love God and they want truth to be established. No, they're doing it because they just actually enjoy seeing Christians downfall. So they're not doing it for the right reason. But that doesn't mean that what they're doing is not God's will. Just because somebody is doing something wrong doesn't mean that God can't use it. God can still use it. He told a church in Revelation, Satan is going to come cast you into prison and I'll use it to test your faith. Is he, is he working with Satan? No, he's not a partner with Satan. But the thing Satan, the thing he knows Satan is about to do, God's going to use it for his good. Joseph's brothers put him into slavery, but God says, what the enemy meant for you, what? I have turned it around for your good. So God can use an evil thing for a good thing. And God can use evil people to do a divine work like Babylon.